Hong Kong has seen another day of disruptions as protests, protesters demanding greater democracy continued for the 13th consecutive weekend. Thousands of them around the city blocked roads and public transport links to the international airport, creating gridlock at the airport bus terminal. Riot police cleared roads and pushed into one train station after protesters vandalized CCTV cameras and turnstiles. The protest action followed overnight clashes between police and demonstrators that marked some of the most intense violence since the start of unrest. Our correspondent Charlotte Shelson Pill has been covering those protests for us. She is in Hong Kong, Charlotte. Another disturbance at one of the world's busiest airports. Fill us in. What's the situation like where you are right now? Carl, if yesterday was defined or will be remembered by its violence today, so far it's all about the chaos. I'm at that train station that you mentioned a short time ago where the protest moved after they came away from uh, the airport. Now, police moved into the train stations here, cleared protesters out, sending them running. But as I'm sure you can see behind me, there is still enormous transport chaos here. That really was the goal of today's protest. They wanted to shut down roads, uh, train lines leading to the airport to cause as much disruption as possible. The goal being to try and bring their cause to the attention of the rest of the world. The thinking that if they shut down the airports, if they uh, stop planes uh, from leaving the airport, stop passengers, travelers from, from getting into Hong Kong, then they will create a lot of attention to, for uh, their cause. Uh, here. Now, uh, there hasn't been any uh, violence so far, but we are hearing that at the moment, as people move away from this area, p riot police are waiting for them as they get off the ferries. We're also seeing very dramatic pictures of, of protesters and travellers indeed as well trying to leave this area uh, on foot, walking along the big main road, sometimes travelling, walking for hours to try and get away from this air airport area, which is completely shut down. Now, mm. among the protesters today and in previous days, we've seen a number of lawmakers taking to the streets as well. Their goal being to try and keep things calm, to try and observe and protect the safety uh, of the protesters. In fact, yesterday, a day which was, was marked, really scarred by the violence, we met one lawmaker in particular who said he'd made it his role, his responsibility to uh, keep an eye on what was happening. Take a look. He's a familiar face here. Democrat lawmaker Lam Chuk Ting knows this protest isn't authorised. Police have made it clear anyone taking part faces arrest. But still, he's here, another defiant figure in the crowd. Weeks of violence have shattered his faith in the police. He's come here not to make noise, but to act as a witness. I think it's my duty to monitor the law enforcement of the police force. And if they try to... Uh, make a, an excuse to, to arrest me, then I could only defend myself in the court. Lam Chuk Ting knows all too well the risks he's taking. On Friday, three of his fellow lawmakers were arrested for their alleged role in protests. Then there's the physical risk. Back in July, protesters were attacked by a gang of men at the UN Long train station. Chuk Ting was among the first on the scene and live-streamed what he saw on social media. He was left with a fractured wrist and a cut to his face. He says police failed to stop the attack. Whether I will be arrested by the police or attacked by the gangsters again, um, it is not the matter I have to concern anymore. I, together with Hong Kong people, uh, is trying our best to fight for democracy of Hong Kong and uh, uh, protest against the evil law. 
It's not long before reports of clashes outside the government complex come in, and he's on the move. During the week, this is his office. But today, he can only stand back and watch the chaos unfold. As Molotov cocktails are thrown from one side, tear gas and water cannon on the other. He posts frequent updates on social media, using his platform to urge his tens of thousands of followers to stay safe, knowing that for some it will be futile. Another night of violence just beginning. Charlotte, these protests now entering their fourth month. I mean, how difficult is it for protesters like who we just saw there to keep that momentum up? What's really striking about this 13-week protest movement now is how protesters really have managed to keep up the momentum. They keep reinventing themselves, finding new ways of, of gaining international attention. What we're seeing at the airport is one of them. We know that they've tried that tactic before. Uh, it failed because uh, the protesters were accused of being too violent at that airport. They're now trying a different way, disrupting transport links to the airport. This really is an ever-evolving and ever-changing movement. Charlotte Chelson-Pilforce in Hong Kong, thank you very much.